Do you realize by 2025, half of America That's... will have some form of diabetes? Oh, wow. Type 1, type 2, or pre-diabetes. Half. Wow. Wow. That's phenomenal. And so we've taken a special interest to this because diabetes isn't hard to undo. Mm. We just need to understand it. And the problem is we're attacking diabetes as though it's a blood sugar disease. We, we define diabetes by the level of your blood sugar. We treat diabetes by how food affects your blood sugar. But blood sugar is the lag indicator, they would say in business. The lead indicator is the thing that's causing the problem. Lag indicator is what happens because the problem is caused. Blood mm -hmm. sugar goes sideways because insulin has already broken down. And the thing is, it's not hard to understand. We've known for years what happens. Mm -hmm. We just need to put it together into a treatment program. So imagine for a moment that you put something on your tongue and your tongue tastes sweet. Right? We have all these taste buds in there and mm -hmm. those are there just to give us pleasure, right? Newsflash, nothing in the body is there just to give us pleasure. Not even that. Nothing. Is there just to give pleasure? Everything has a purpose for being there. We taste food. The taste of that food gets everything in our digestive system ready for mm. what's coming mm. while it's still in our mouth and we're chewing. Mm. We put sugar on our tongue. The body is already releasing insulin into our body to handle that sugar when it comes in. Mm. Now imagine that that isn't sugar. Imagine that that's an artificial sweetener or it's a diet something or other, or it's erythritol, or it's something that's not mm -hmm. going to give the sugar to match the insulin. Now we have an insulin bump. Mm. The liver now has mm. to create glucose in the body. And bear in mind, these are very small margins. Your body only has four grams of glucose in your entire bloodstream at any point in time. Mm. So if you get an insulin bump, that four grams goes away really, really fast. So the, the liver is now working overtime creating glucose to get that balance back. And it does it so fast that it overproduces. Wow. Here we have a situation where we're creating an insulin response incorrectly, time after time after time after time after time. And that signal's going to the brain who's trying to interpret why the anticipated reaction didn't happen. Hmm. And eventually the brain begins to change the reaction. Sweet doesn't mean to produce insulin. Every time we do that, it's wrong. Mm. Let's stop doing that. And we call that insulin resistance. Mm. And that's what we're treating. But what we should be treating is the fact that we're tricking our body. We're trying to hack our body. And we've been trying to hack our body since the late 70s, early 80s, mm -hmm. when the very first nutrition program came into America. We've been trying to hack our body. Hey, everybody eat low fat. You won't get fat if you eat low fat, right? Everybody stop eating sugar. You won't get elevated blood sugar if you don't eat sugar. And we've been trying to hack our body. Our body's been trying to respond in the best way it can by trying to adjust how it operates. So now we have a diabetes pandemic that's not caused by overeating sugar. It's caused by overeating artificial sweeteners.